Hey people, in today's video I want to make a wig that suits someone that wears small heads as if she's 21 inches. As you all can see, I have already customized the cap. I have a video on how I do this. I will post it, I will link it somewhere on the screen or you check the description box. Before I start, I have to outline how I'm going in order I will put my individuals, which I'm doing with a chuck. You can use a marker, but for the chalk, I like to use chalk because it will rub off before I finish making the hair. Even at that, I was still definitely going to wash the wig before I ship it out. So I'm marking the line in the order I want it. If you want something more than this, if you want your own to be scanty, depending on how full you want your cap or your wig to be. So I'm using, I'm giving space per row, one one inch space per row. So this is me marking the lines, joining them together to get the actual line I want. So after marking the lines the way as you can see it, I'll go ahead and prep my braiding hair. The braiding I'm using is just Super Braid Expression Super Braid in color one. I'll go ahead and cut the expression braid into three equal parts as I'm showing you here. After cutting it, I went ahead and feather out the tips, comb the tangle and you know, brush it. Now, let's start making the individual braids first so guys sit back relax and watch what i am doing i'll come back again and talk to you guys see you And always remember to keep the parts of your ear open. Don't put any braid there. As you can see that there is a part, this portion I did not put braid. So that is where the ear, you have to allow the ear to relax. If, because if you put braids there, the ear will not relax and can give headache while we are in the wig. So what I'm showing you guys is how I filled the cap for the back part of the cap i use my two fingers as a measurement for the side by side braids then once i got to the topmost part of the wig i used my one finger for the side by side measurement of the wig braids yeah the in, uh, yes measurement of the braids in between so guys 
you know when making brain for want to make realistic wig you have to put into consideration the size of the cap you are using if you're making a wig for a small size head or medium size head or big size hair construction of your cap is very important especially when you are using a frontal you understand when you're using the front it's very very important to know the measurement to know the perimeter which i showed on my previous video in case you want to know how i constructed the cap go watch the video i will put the link link to the video somewhere here on the screen or you check the description box so after braiding the individuals this what i got and this is what they look like now go ahead and measure out the length of the my how deep i want my cornrows to look or my feedings so guys the frontal i use on this wig is made by me so the measurement i'm using is also in inches which i'm showing which i just showed you here i will start measuring from the front to the point i want the in, uh, feedings to stop I want the feedings to be four inches deep only. You can make yours longer, you can make yours shallow, you can make yours depending on how deep you want your individual feeding to be. After measuring it out, I will part it or partition it. So the part that go to the back is the part I will use to create the individuals that will go to the back to hide the lace and the cap showing this is what the pattern looks like then i'll go ahead and start braiding the individual so guys stay tuned i'll come back again and talk to you guys relax and enjoy is what the birds look like look like after breeding the individual so i went on here ahead of camera to partition the part i want to do my feeding and this is what it looks like three uh, portion by this each by each side and one brain corn row in the middle i'll start breeding the feeding <laughs>
I look into your eyes and see you fade away. But we're not the same. It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way. Somehow we got used to the problems. Baby, we got used to falling. I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. Yeah, I just wanna lose. Of the Milky Way. Somehow we got used to the problems. Baby, we got used to falling. I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. Yeah, I just wanna. I'm 
kind of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. Yeah, I just wanna be. Up the Milky Way. Somehow we got used to the problems. Baby, we got used to falling. I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. Yeah, I just wanna lose. See you fade away. No, we're 
not the same It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue When I lose myself to love Yeah, I just wanna lose So guys, after braiding the feeding, I'll braid these parts on camera. I'll go ahead and braid the other part of camera, then come back and braid the middle braid feeding. Yes, for braiding the middle feeding, I will braid it a little big, a bit a little bit bigger and thicker than the rest of the feeding. So guys after braiding I went ahead and finished the rest of the braids I will go ahead after this I will go ahead you know and dip the hair in hot water then come back and show you quickly how I attach the baby hairs okay so this is what the hair looks like before I dip it in hot water. The next step you see is when I'm putting the baby hair. So I've already done some part of the baby. You know, I'm not going to show you people everything step by step. I will show you the basic or uh, what the way I'm doing what I'm doing here. Then the rest I'll do off camera. As you can see, I've already done part of the baby hair off camera. Let me quickly show you guys how I add my baby hair. You can use any hair of choice. You can use synthetic hair, you can use braiding hair, you can use human hair to attach your baby hair, whichever one you want to use, they are all good. So for adding my baby hairs, I add one one strand or at most two strands of hair on each hole. Get it? A strand of hair, a strand or two strands of hair of each hole you keep on adding it adding the hair to get to the last point or where you want the baby hairs to stop so guys the next one you're gonna see is when this wig is ready and decorated i will come back again and show you guys the finished look yo ladies and gentlemen ha Yo, since this is the pretty girl, 
So thank you guys for watching this video. In case you are new here, my name is Chidema and I create content like this on this channel. In case you are interested, please stay tuned. Great last subscribe, hit the subscribe button and put on your notification. And for my own subscribers, thank you for tuning in back. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. So guys, this is what the wig looks like. As you can see, it looks so realistic and beautiful. Let me know what you guys think about this wig in the comment section. And if you have your question, do feel to ask me any question in the comment section. I will be there as your always to answer your questions. So guys, I hope to see you all in my next video. And to order a wig from me or my product, please do check the description box, the column that says to order a wig. I will put my my links or my contact there so you'll be able to contact me for braided wigs or for any product, be it closures, be it with Swiss lace, with Latin pins, everything you need for your braiding wig. So guys, stay tuned for the next video and I hope to see you guys again in my next video. Bye!